Buddy Caleb here. Just so everybody knows, I broke my device that I do all my video editing with. So the videos for the next little while, when I get the chance to make them, are going to be pretty much unedited. I'll just be stringing clips together and uh, trying to do what I can to get some content out for you guys, but I can only do so much. So I pre rigged a couple rods here. Got a little Texas rig set up just in case it's too weedy and I can't, uh, I can't bring back my treble hooks. And then I got uh, got my bait caster set up. Both of them have 60 pound monofilament leaders, pre-tied. So I did bring one tray of tackle, just some uh, some some basic moving baits and then I brought a bunch of soft plastics to try on the Texas rig if I have a hard time bringing these back so but I think first I'm going to try the jerk bait it's been really really warm lately so they uh they might not be eating super active you know what I mean so I'll try the jerk jerk paws we'll do that first I think I'll do it with this one first. Give that a try. So I did connect just a little leader to the old uni knot there. Leader. We're gonna give this a cast, see how it goes. My friend Caleb is here fishing too. Nice young man. Check my, oh, look at that. I haven't used my bait caster since, oh geez, the fall. <laughs> All right, we'll try just a couple casts. Ooh. And I backlash straight away. Why? Because I haven't used this since the fall. Holy moly, and it's a goodie too. That's all right. I will fix her up. Bring up the slack and try some late jerky jerks. The water's a lot clearer than I thought it was going to be. Try this again, slightly lighter cast. Cool. Mm, a little breezy today. How long ago did you get here, Caleb? Caleb, how long ago did you get here? Like maybe huh? five minutes before me? Uh, probably, yeah. Now we just hope for a bite. I'm going to try something that goes a little bit deeper than this jerk bait. There's a little diving duck right out in front of me here. Keeps on popping up.
There it is right there. Give that some time to sink. It is a slow sinking lure, so. Might change tactics yet again. I think I'm going to put on something that goes a little faster down and digs deeper. Let's take another look at our tackle trail. What else do we feel like throwing? What else do I want to throw? Maybe we'll try... Yeah, why not? We'll do that a trap. Let's try a basic red rattle trap for a couple of casts, see if that attracts anything. I got a cutesy little tackle tray full of different things, so... The water's really cute. The water's what? Yeah, a lot cleaner than I thought it was going to be for this time. I haven't seen any minnows go past us yet. Usually this point's just littered with me. Oh yeah, itty bitty little guys going by. Now it's coming back lower. Um, back those brakes off a couple of clicks. Get it a little farther out, I think. Tiny little schools of minnows. That means the big fish have been feeding well. Drag up just a teeniest bit. I do have a fishy. That one? Yep. Not a big guy, but I got one. Caleb, I'm a, I'm a silly fool. In my backpack by my bicycle, in the very front pocket is a pair of pliers. Can I? Oh, do you? Awesome. Do you want to learn how to safely hold a pike too?
You don't like the slimy way they feel? No. All right, let me try to find a spot. I can, oh, I can, I can get to him here without him bashing himself on the rocks. I think. You want me to throw him to you? I'll just come on over. He's not a big guy, but he'll do. Thank you very much. I'll put them right here. Nice safe spot while I grab Mr. Pike here. And he said a running a 60 pro oh, hey come on now you're not going away that easily 60 pound monofilament oh stop it you done got him by the jaw nice and simple because i do run barbless it's not too bad and away with you, buddy. Look how mellow he left, eh? And that's how warm that water is. They are feeling lazy. You can still see him right there. Had him hooked double by the lips. Thank you very much, Caleb, for the use of your pliers. Cool. I'm gonna go grab mine. It's right there, Caleb. Thank you very much. You're a scholar and a gentleman, sir. I'll grab my pliers. Being that I forgot them. Lost three sets of pliers fishing in the last week. I was fishing mountain streams and different kinds of pliers, and yeah, just kept losing them. So. The fishies want the rattle trap. I'm using 30 pound braided line with a 60 pound monofilament leader. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of fight in that pike. Just tells you the water's good and warm. Boy, he's been caught many times and knows just to let it go. Relax, they'll let me go soon enough. All right, everybody. Turns out I still can edit, just very tricky. So it's gonna be simple edits for now. Um, yeah, that being said, I can actually do more clips and stuff instead of uh, just one video. I had a hard time thinking about what I was gonna say because all I could think is how am I gonna get this on YouTube and, and actually edit it up. And now I know I can, it's just not so easy, but I can get it done. So uh, yeah, you'll see some more coming out in the future and real soon. Thanks for watching everybody.